السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شالی صدری ویسر علی عمری والا لوگ دتا مل ثانی قوقری رب صدی علما اوکے ناؤ چلڈرن ہاؤ ار یو ہوپ دیٹ ایوری ون از ویل اوکے ناؤ دیٹ ٹوڈے وی ار گوئنگ ٹو لرن دا ٹاپک دیٹ ایز یو کین سی آن دا اسکرین کیس آف ادر وائز اینڈ کیس اینڈ دس ٹاپک از پریزنٹ ان یور چیپٹرز سیون اینڈ ایٹ Uh, by the way, do we remember anything? Do we know anything about it? Have you ever heard this term before? Have you ever heard this statement before? Yes, can you recall? Yes, that's correct. Very nice, Ali, that we have learned it under the heading of conditional statement. We just introduced this topic. Now we are going to learn it in detail. And inshallah, by the end of the lesson, you will be in a position to understand and answer questions regarding this uh, conditional statement. Now, what is a conditional statement? Uh, whenever you have uh, different situations, different options that are available to you, then what we do is we need to use a conditional statement. Uh, as you can see here, the, the algorithm is going to use a conditional statement in case it has a set number of actions to be performed when, when, whenever it has to decide which action should be taken, then this will be done using a conditional statement. What are they? Now, there are two types of conditional statement. The first one is if, then, else, and if, and second one is case of otherwise and case. When do we use what? If you can recall, when you have two options, when you have the situation true or false, then we can use, we are going to use if, then, else, and if, but in case I have more than uh, two options, or you can say I have different values, uh, I have choices uh, more than uh, one, then what we do is we are always go for case of otherwise in case. When you have more than two options, then we prefer to use case of otherwise in case. And now before we proceed to the case statement, let's very quickly recap how can we handle if then else and if. Now, this is just a very simple example. You have taken already input in a variable age and you are just checking if age less than 18, then output child, else output adult, and if. Now, it's a very simple uh, statement, a very simple example just to make you understand how if is going to be written. Uh, just a little recap for all of us. Any questions? Any ambiguity? Okay, now we are going to work on case of otherwise in case and we are first of all talking about that what is uh, uh, like we need to know the different uh, questions can come in our paper. So we need, need to know if the question comes regarding the explanation so you can mention a choice between several different values or several different options. Then we choose the case of otherwise in case statement. And uh, now for a case statement, what, uh, what, uh, how do we do it? We are going to decide the value of the variable. Uh, the value of the variable is going to decide the path that we need to take. For example, uh, whatever the value of the variable is, that will decide where you will go. Several values are usually, usually specified. We are going to use otherwise in case if all the options mentioned above are not meeting the criteria, then the case statement will be moving on to otherwise. The end is shown by end case. Please be clear, there is no space in between and it's written as one word. And remember, the way we have learned, if is ended with end if, similarly, case statement is ended with end case. Now the syntax. Case of variable. Now we have option one, whatever if, if option one, if, we, if you can see, uh, whatever option one is, after that there's a colon sign and whatever action you want to, uh, to be performed will be written as statement. If the first condition is false, then option two will be activated, will be will be, uh, will, will be used. And again, a colon sign is there to separate the option and the statement or the statements. Then we have another option maybe. Then we have again statements and you can see Options and statements are separated by a colon sign. And you can have many options also. And then we have 
option N. N indicates the maximum that you are going to use. For example, if you have five options, then N will be five. If you have 10 options, then uh, uh, option uh, N will be 10. So it, it is based on how many options or how many situations uh, do you have or how many values do you want to check. And the N will be N with N case, but before that, you can you can use or we we normally use the otherwise statement also and with after otherwise we write down what is supposed to be done in case if all the other options are incorrect if all the other options are not meeting the criteria then it is going to move to otherwise and the case statement ends with n case any questions just remember the syntax and you can attempt any questions that are coming in, that are coming in front of you. Now we are going to work on the first example, and you can see the ones that are uh, you can see the reserved words or the part of the syntax that are supposed to be written in the same manner are in white. So case of grade. Now what is grade actually? Grade is. Exactly, grade is a variable. That's very good, I said. And you can see the value of the grade uh, is, the value of the grade can be A or B or C. So if the value of grade is A, then what are we displaying? We have, we have a message, output excellent. If this is not the situation, if the value of the grade is not A, then it will move down to check the second situation, which is B. If the student has obtained a B grade, then output will be good. Now, if this these two options are not met, are not met, it means that we are going to check that whether the value of the grade is C, and in that situation, output will be average. And if all the other options are incorrect, like for example, the student has not attained a grade A, B, or a C, then the otherwise statement will be activated, and you can see uh, the message will be the output improvement is needed, and we are going to end our case with an end case. Are you clear? Any questions? Any ambiguity? Uh, by the way, I have a question. Looking at the value of grade, what do you think is the data type of grade? Yes, very quick, please. That's great, Ali. It's uh, the string value because you can see it's going. To, it's written in double quotations. Uh, by the way, can we? Uh, can you uh, tell me that is it possible to have grade declared as any other data type apart from string? Okay, that's good. Great, Asad. We can have it a char as well. And the reason is, since it is using A, B, C, which is a single character, that's why it can be declared as char as well. That's wonderful. Great, wonderful. Now we can see one more example and here the variable is choice and you can see the choice if the choice has value one then answer equals to num1 plus num2 I mean we are we are just uh, uh, going to perform the addition process if the choice value is two then answer will be num1 minus num2 if the choice has a value three then answer will be num1 into num2 and if the choice has the value four, then the answer will be num1 divided by num2. And you can see it's basically the use of arrow means the value is, is assigned to the variable answer by performing the addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, depending on the user's choice. And it may happen that the user has not entered a choice as one or two or three or four, then a message will be there, output, please enter a valid choice. Clear? Uh, by the way, can we do this task with if? I mean, we have done it with if. If you remember, we have done such tasks in the class also. So if uh, working with if, by the way, was it, uh, wasn't it lengthier to work with if? Yes, you can see that case statement is going to uh, make your uh, code a little, make your pseudocode also a little more, um, you can say, Concise, it's going to be more efficient, and that is also that if, that we use the case statement. Are we clear? Okay, today I'm not doing this case, this if because you already are uh, aware of this uh, if statement. You have done very, uh, you have done practice of this question. 
that is, I, today I'm only concentrating on case of otherwise in case. But still you can practice and you can share with me the answers and definitely I'll be able to check your answers. Any questions? Now, there's an activity. The activity, as you can see here, is use a case statement to display the day of the week if the variable day has a whole number value between 1 and 7 inclusive and an error, error message otherwise. Yes, can we do it? Within five minutes max? Okay, five minutes or more. That's great, Ali. Can we do it within two minutes? Come on, your time starts now. Yes, are you done? Any questions uh, that you have? Any problem that you are facing? Okay, now let's uh, do it together. Let's share my working with you so you can see for yourself that whether your answers and my answers are matching or not. Now you can see the variable is day. Be careful that you have to use the variable day and it says case of day. And the, as you can see, the option was given, the hint was given to you that you have to use a whole number. It means that it's basically uh, denoting that day is an integer. So you can see day is one, output first day of the week, two, output second day of the week, three, output third day of the week, four, output fourth day of the week, five, output, output fifth day of the week, six, output sixth day of the week, seven, Output seventh day of the week. Otherwise, output please enter a valid day one till seven. So here you can see the instruction is given to you. The uh, instruction is followed and you are able to write down the whole case statement so easily, isn't it? Isn't it very easy to handle this with case? And uh, end is with end case. By the way, how many of you were able to write down something similar? Did you follow the instructions? Uh, were you able to get the same answer as is shown here? Yes or no? Okay, that's great. Wonderful. I'm really, very, I'm very, very happy that you all have understood well and you all have answered it in the same manner. So maybe, maybe move to the next activity. And this activity is basically uh, both 2210 and 0478 computer science, June 2018, paper 2 to question number 3. And let's understand this first. Uh, this is uh, the question, as you can see, input number one, now comma number two, comma sign. So again, with one input statement, three inputs are taken and that's perfectly okay. Again, remember that we can use input once and we may have input taken in three or any number of variables also. While number one is not equal to zero, now if sign equals to plus, then answer equals to number one plus number two. And if, if sign equals to minus, then answer equals to number one minus number two. And if, if sign equals to uh, asterisk, then answer equals to number one into number two. And if, then if sign equals to uh, division, which is slash, then answer equals to uh, answer arrow sign, which is the assignment operator. Number one upon number two with the slash and then uh, end if. If sign is not equal to uh, slash and sign is not equal to asterisk and sign is not equal to minus and sign is not equal to plus, then answer equals to zero. And if, if answer is not equal to zero, then output answer. And if input number one, comma number two, comma sign. So in this manner, what and then end while is there. And remember, while is ended with an end while. Now question is, Complete the trace table for the input data. And you can see the input data is 5, 7 plus. 
six two minus four three into uh, asterisk seven eight uh, question mark zero zero and division. Now let's see what will happen. Now I have actually shown to you uh, the same. Uh, you can see the trace table is there. It has number one, number two, sign, answer, and output. With the first set of data, you can see five seven plus is meeting the criteria. The first if statement is uh, is correct. So for this reason, it says answer now equals to number one plus number two. So five and seven are added, and they are stored in the variable answer. And you can see it will move down and it will uh, go on. If answer is not equal to zero, then output answer and if that's why the output column is holding the value of 12 so you can see this value of 12 is only because of the reason that answer is not equal to zero that's why the value of answer that is 12 is written in the output column clear is the first set clear five seven and plus then after that again input is taken input number one comma number two comma sign so second input second set of input is six two minus so this is 6 to minus here. It moves up while number 1 is not equal to 0. Again, condition is true. Number 1 is 6. 6 is not equal to 0. So condition is true. So it will enter the loop and now it will go for the checks. Now, first check is wrong, but second check is correct. If sign equals to negative, then answer equals to number 1 minus number 2. So you can see 6 to minus subtraction process is applied and 4 is written here. And since the condition is met, that's why the value of 4 is displayed also in your this output column. Any questions? So now you can attempt the rest of the part very quickly. I'm giving you 2 minutes and you can understand and attempt it very quickly. Clear? I think it's very simple. Uh, now, the way we have handled the two sets, you can work on, you have, you must have worked on the third and the fourth and the fifth set also. And you can see the moment the value of number one is zero. So you can see the input, the input was taken definitely. Number one was zero, number two was zero, and the sign was uh, division. So it moved up. And when it moved up, the condition is met, the, the condition is met now, that number one is now, holding a zero, so zero is not equal to zero. Condition is false, so it will not enter the loop. I think it's very simple. Okay, now, uh, Ali have a raised a question. Thank you for raising the, this concern, definitely. It's also something which is very clear that the input was seven, eight in question mark. So you can see the value is uh, not plus, neither plus or nor minus multiplication division. None of the conditions are met in this scenario. So definitely it moves on to the fifth if and the value of answer is zero. And since the value of answer is zero, that's why there is no output. So that is why we have to be very cautious that the lines are supposed to be written in the right manner and only then you will be able to score the marks. Is it easy? Yes? Okay, now let's move on to the next part of the question. It's also very simple. Here we are asked to perform the this is the second part of the question the same uh, is here show how could you improve the algorithm written in pseudocode by writing an alternative type of conditional statement in pseudocode here you can see they want you to work only on that part of the pseudocode that is dealing with condition checking you don't have to write down the whole statement you don't have to write down the whole program but what they want you to focus on is they just want you to understand how can you improve this uh, algorithm how can you make it more efficient and you can see just the use of case case of sign be cautious that you have to use the same variable 
you have to use the same data type. You're not supposed to use the, any other data type, type of your own uh, choice. As you can see, plus is written in, within single quotes, indicating it's a which data type. Wonderful, I said, it's a char data type. So you have to mention in the same manner, but the only change is instead of using uh, if you're going to use a uh, case here, case of sign plus answer equals to number one plus number two minus answer equals to number one minus number two uh, asterisk answer equals to number one into number two uh, division the slash answer equals to number one divided by number two otherwise answer equals to zero end case i think it's very simple understood very easily any questions any ambiguity no okay uh, i hope that you we all have understood this uh, topic very well you need to practice more questions and inshallah you will be able to manage this very easily now Jazakallah khairin kaseera for being part of uh, a part of the learning journey. If uh, you have any questions, then you can definitely consult me through my uh, Facebook group. As you can see, uh, the Facebook group is mentioned here. Please join the group. I think it's a which data type? Wonderful, I said. It's a char data type. So you have to mention in the same manner, but the only change is instead of using uh, if you're going to use a case here, case of sign, Plus, answer equals to number one plus number two minus answer equals to number one minus number two uh, asterisk answer equals to number one into number two uh, division the slash answer equals to number one divided by number two otherwise answer equals to zero end case I think it's very simple understood very easily any questions any ambiguity no okay uh, I hope that you we all have understood this uh, topic very well you need to practice more questions. And inshallah, you will be able to manage this very easily. Now, Jazakallah khairin kaseera for being part of, uh, a part of the learning journey. If uh, you have any questions, then you can definitely consult me through my uh, Facebook group. As you can see, uh, the Facebook group is mentioned here. Please join the group. And you can even write down the answer. Uh, you, you can even ask the questions in your, uh, in your um, uh, you can say, uh, through any of the any of the of the YouTube channel also, Jazakallah khairin kaseera. Take very good care of yourself. Please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends and family so that they all are going to benefit. And do not forget to click on the bell icons so that you are getting the updates uh, every time a new video is uploaded. Allah Hafiz.